a chance to get crowned the Safeway Home Date Champion, visit WashingtonFootball.com to enter. Christy, uh, tell us a little bit where your fandom started with this team. I am actually the oddball of the fan group. I do not remember the glory days. I didn't live here. I was not a Redskin fan. I was raised college football. So when I moved here in 99, my husband is a huge diehard Redskin fan, and I started to get a, to know a little bit about the team and what all you all do for the community, and I kind of got addicted. And you said the oddball of the group. I mean, you guys travel in, in bunches here. Tell us a little bit about this group and how it forms. Um, we run the Extreme Sense Tailgate, and it's all based on a message board, and we have people from around the world. We have over 100,000 members, and so our tailgate is made up from people from Australia to Japan to London to local all across the U.S. And what does a tailgate look for you guys when we're in a normal world where you can actually go to FedEx Field? We run anywhere from 100 to 500 people, depending on the game, depending on the weather, um, and it's just a good family atmosphere where everyone brings different foods and Chris cooks something special every game and we just all get together and have a great time and we do have opposing fans there from Pro Football Ultimate Fan Association and so it's just, it's just fun hanging out with everyone and getting to know everyone. How has it been this year? I mean, we, we let a little bit of fans in last week, um, which is really great to have some back, but... You know, for the most part, you're, you're having to watch this from home. Like, what are you? What is your experience now around game day? Well, my entire basement is totally Redskins. So I can still have my atmosphere at home. The only difference is now I have to watch with my husband and my dog versus 90,000 screaming fans. And, you know, there's a picture that you have here of you're in a parade. What is this parade? Tell us about it. It's the Middleburg Christmas Parade. Um, they like to use the Jeep. The Jeep is also in the Hall of Fame, at the Hall of Fame every year for um, Canton, Ohio, with different parades and shows. Um, but that is with the Redskin Ed alumni. They are in the parade every year. And that photo actually has Sam Huff, who only wanted to ride in the Jeep. <laughs> this Jeep is notorious. Players know whenever they leave the facility or come home that they expect to see that Jeep. Um, how long have you guys been doing this, and how long do you sit there and wait for the team to return, and where did the concept come from of making sure you send them off every away game? It, we've been doing that since Joe Gibbs to return. That, his first year is when we got our season tickets, and this actually started because of Joe Gibbs. He, um, he wanted more fans, and he liked it, and I was asked to organize it, and it started from there. But, I mean, it's a lot of fun. There's been a few times where planes have broken down, and we've waited quite a long time. And then there's other times where y'all decided to fly back instead of taking the train, coming back from Philly when you used to take the train, and y'all almost beat up. So, I mean, it's been a back and forth. How many people typically get to see the team off and come back? On a normal, we have 10 to 20 people. Now, if we make the playoffs, you get it by the thousands. I have had media ask me what brought you out here tonight for a playoff game, and I'm like, I've been here, everyone. Where have you been? <laughs> I like that answer. Well, hopefully we'll be back in the playoffs one day soon. Um, it's been too long, right? I, uh, you know, when it does come to a lot of this, how do you, how do you feel the players kind of react and respond to seeing that? It's funny because most will recognize the yellow Jeep versus me or Chris. I mean, it's, you can't miss the Jeep. And I've heard throughout the years that they truly, truly enjoy it, and it means a lot to them, and more so after a loss than a win. It's nice to know that they have that support. And, you know, the first time I believe this season, I didn't realize I was supposed to tell you that they were leaving, and I got phone calls of people saying, hey, we missed them. They weren't there. <laughs> got to tell us. When, tell them, make sure that they know that we're leaving this time so we can get that send off. So it is appreciated by them. But I know a lot of stuff that we do as well. I, it goes beyond just football as it goes into the community. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the work that you do and the funds that you raise. Well, with the tailgate itself, all the funds, because some people who travel from overseas and different places, they can't bring food, obviously. So we do have a donation jar, and all of that money goes to Abby's Army. Um, so we raise a good couple thousand dollars a year for Abby's Army, and they support kids with pediatric cancer 
at Children's Hospital in Duke. Abby had brain cancer, and she's a huge Redskin fan. Chris Thompson used to wear the Abby's Army bracelet. Besides that, I mean, with Pro Football Summit Fan Association, we pass out and pack over 450 book bags for underprivileged children. Um, we support a huge um, boys and girls community um, called the J Bates Center, helping keep kids off the street. Now, my own personal is obviously dogs, anyone that knows me, and animals. Um, I foster for dogs, I do a lot with rescue. The photograph of my dogs being filmed at Redskin Park actually raised $30,000, that book, Tales of Loudon, for the local animal shelter and um, community, Cat Coalition was the other one it went to. And that was all done by Ellen Bingla, but you know, y'all were a part of it because y'all allowed us to take the photo on the field. Now, it, it kind of rounds out the epitome of what really being kind of like a super fan means. You're there, you're out, you represent, you wear the colors, you've been there through the rough years, the lean years, um, and hopefully soon some celebrations, making sure you do give back to the community. Christy, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. When we come back on Washington